what got you interested in coaching? Uh, well, I, I've seen lot, I've seen so many of your videos, and they sound well. They look really helpful, so I thought I should get one. Sure, and they look fun. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, how long have you been playing Overwatch? Uh, a little over a year. Okay, what got you into it initially? Uh, well, my friends were my friends were playing it, and I thought it looked fun. Uh, sure, sure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and I see that you play DPS, Hanzo Reaper primarily. Yeah, but I don't really play Hanzo anymore. It's kind of just Reaper. And okay. Kong. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, all right. Sounds good. So, what what initially appealed to you about those characters? Because I'm sure, like, especially when you initially started, you probably played a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, I think Reaper is one of the characters I've been playing since pretty much when I first started playing Overwatch. I think I enjoy the challenge of like sneaking around. And seeing up on people is fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. So, are you mostly playing Reaper, or you play you fill other things that kind of left when you stopped playing Hanzo? Mm, no, it's just it's just Reaper. Just Reaper. Okay, <laughs> sounds moment, good. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so what do you hope to get out of the session to identify some things I can practice on in my games? Lovely. How often? How long do you play Overwatch per day or per week? Around two hours per day. Is that still the case? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but yeah, pretty much still. Okay, the same. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, and is that mostly ranked, or do you play quick play? Do you play arcade? How does that? How do you usually spend your time? Yeah, I just warm up in deathmatch for like ten minutes, and then I just play ranked. Sure. Um, but sometimes I play with my friends, and that's always quick play. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, goals here: short term, a lot of my focus is on having fun, as most of my time this year will be spent studying. I would like to improve some, though. Long term, I'd like to spend more time in the game to improve. I'm really enthusiastic about the game. Okay, so w- w- what appeals to you so much about the game? Why is it uh, something that you're so enthusiastic about? I don't know. It's fun to <laughs> sure uh, yeah. like shoot people and kill them. I guess. Sure, sure, sure. Is it something about Reaper know. specifically? Because because it, it's like um, you know, it's it's it, is it just because you're you're playing Overwatch, but you're also just playing specifically Reaper. So it must be something about his kit that kind of keeps you coming back, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I agree. I think like again, like sneaking around it. And like surprising people is like really kind of funny. Yeah. Cause like you shoot them from behind and they turn around and like, Oh, what do I do? Yeah. No, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Okay. What do you feel is holding you back from improving? For one, I don't think I play enough. Two hours a day doesn't feel like enough time to make significant process of improving. Um, in my experience, I think two hours a day is more than enough to get to, I would say, uh, depending on how you're spending that time, of course, it's definitely enough to to improve. It, it may there's a ceiling where you're going to need to put in a little bit more effort, maybe a little bit more intensity. Maybe that's really kind of where you'd you'd not be as interested. Um, but what rank are you at right now? Uh, bronze five. Bronze five. <clears throat> yeah, it, it, it's more than enough to get you to higher rank than bronze five, maybe even to silver, gold, and so on. Um, depending on how those hours are spent. Um, but okay, and then also I struggle to identify the most important fundamental mistakes that are keeping me from improving. This is because I sometimes find lots of mistakes when I watch replays of my game, which can be overwhelming. Okay, yeah, that, that's that's 100% it. Um, is it kind of like you don't really know what to improve on because everything feels off, so you just try to do everything, and then you're just not even sure where to start? Is that kind of where you're struggling with? Mm, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Okay, I think that sounds, yeah. sounds good. Okay, so what we'll try to do is we'll try to give you some sort of a streamlined guideline with exactly how to approach that. Because I, I think it's important to understand that you don't need to fix everything to improve. Right, and, and you probably know that, but I can always feel like, well, then what do I actually prioritize? And then that's what, what our goal will be. Um, all right, let's see here. I'm really enthusiastic about the game. Okay, so are you on console or PC? Console. Console, okay, sounds good. Do you, have you looked up any specific videos on console settings for Overwatch? Um, I mean, I've come across like a few tips, but no, not, not really. Okay, I would do that. I'm going to start taking some notes for you. Check. A video uh, for console settings for Overwatch 2. I, I, the reason I recommend this is because I'm not as familiar with many of the settings in console, especially for sensitivity and, and all those kind of things. So I would at least look to another resource to see if you could make sure that you're like playing under reasonable circumstances. Um, just in case there's like maybe a setting that you have wrong or maybe something that you might like better. Uh, at that point, you know, it'd be useful to see what other people have to say. Um, Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Um, yeah, I have sort of a question. Well, sure. It's not really a question, but um, sure. Like this is something I thought of after I 
completed the form. Of course. I think one other thing that stops me from getting better is maybe like um, I just like can't focus hard enough. Like I go on autopilot a lot. It's just easy for me to forget that I'm like practicing something. Yeah. And then I don't really practice that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I get that. I get that. Especially if you're like you're studying and you have other things that you're doing. You're not just playing Overwatch all day long. What I recommend is I recommend something that called the two fight rule, where you only give something your full intensity for the like the first two or three fights of every game, and then if you autopilot for the rest of the game, that's okay because at least for the first two or three fights you are fully focused, fully practicing. That's good oh, enough yeah, that's- to improve. Okay, yeah, cool, thanks. That's actually really helpful. And it makes it really easy to remember because you don't have to be focused the entire game just for the first couple of fights. Now, the question is, is how do you remind yourself to be focused on the first two or three fights? Sticky notes, I highly recommend getting up and taking a quick break, like 60 seconds while you're in queue from the console. Just walk around, remind yourself, okay, I got to focus on my positioning. I got to focus on this cooldown. I got to focus on this with my ultimate or whatever. Uh, and, And then basically is like little bit by little bit over time, just try to encourage yourself to, to for the first two fights of every game, always be focused on that thing. And you'll see slow improvements. Make sense? Yeah, no, thank you. That's that's good. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? No, I'm good. Thanks. All right. Well, we can jump into the review if you'd like. Um, yeah, sounds good. You see that? I do. Lovely. Let's uh let's get this code pulled up here then and then we'll get started. So Reaper. Mm-hmm. Jungle Town. Um and Tifa Cider. <laughs> That's, That's me. Love uh, it. Thanks. <laughs> Good scan? Yeah, it's my favorite. Yeah. A little late to the party, but we'll get there in time, surely. Yeah, it's embarrassing. I apologize. Uh, it's okay. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. Now, to start things off, what is Reaper good at? What do you try to do with the character? Are there any things you've been working on recently? And so on. Yeah, I've been doing uh, positioning a lot. That's, that's really the main thing. Okay. What about your positioning? Um, just like angles. Just mm-hmm. like taking a short off angle... Yep. And then shooting them and like okay. making sure I'm close enough to my team or to like the safety where I can wraith out. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like you've got at least a, a good strategy of how you're approaching things. So the question is, is what is the gap between what you know to do and what you're actually doing? And so then when we find that gap, we'll know what we, we need to put emphasis on, what to put focus on. Oh, if you have any questions yeah, during this review, just let me know. All right. Uh, okay. Thanks. All right. A little short off angle here. Like it. Beautiful. Wraith, back to safety. Good. Now, what I would do before you go back on your angle, whenever you can, right here, for example, you're close enough to get healing here. Get a little bit of healing, get a little bit of support before you go back in. Because remember, you talk about like the timing of your cycle and your short off angle. Look at the bottom right. You see your cooldown? Yeah, eight, eight seconds. Right. So you got a little bit of time before you want to go too deep. Now you can sit here and shoot tank or whatever, but you don't want to go for a crazy flank before you have your wraith, or at least when your wraith is on eight seconds. So you might as well wait here, shoot tank a little bit, get a little bit of healing, then go on your mission. Does that make sense? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Because you're going to have to wait a little bit anyway. Case in point, right? You're waiting. Yeah. So you <laughs> might as well be might as well be full health for when you do actually go in. Um, good. Because even with the support that you have through your self heal, again, like look, look at your HP here. Like if you imagine if you were full HP when you went for this, you would be 250 HP now. You might have been able to take another shot at that echo, maybe even able to even finish her off, right? Um, and I think that's kind of like the key thing for me here. Yeah, no, that's true. That, that's true. All right. So now you're full health. Now you're close on Wraith. Now we go again. She flies out of range. Now, what do you do when you don't have a target you can reach? There's two solutions, all right? And so number one, you do what you just did, right? Do it again. <laughs> go on a mission and go kill somebody again. What's your other solution here? How else could you set up a short off angle? Uh, I could like teleport onto that little edge to the back and then like drop onto them maybe. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, why would you teleport on the ledge? What, why would you not just teleport, like, I don't know, like here? Well, they could, they, they might see me in turn around. Ah, 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 yes, 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 yes. It's the, it's the element of surprise, right? It's the same reason why you do this, is you need that element of surprise. Teleport is not exactly a very fast cooldown. So you need something yeah. that's kind of sneaky, right? Now, you could teleport up top to here. There's your cover. There's your sneak element. Heck, you could even teleport inside this room here. 
And this would also work as well. It's what you did kind of sort of earlier, right? So you're either going to cycle all the way around or you're going to use your teleporter to reach here. Now, the question is, is which one should you do and why? Uh, maybe teleport because it's a, just a little bit faster. Mm-hmm. And maybe I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, exactly. There's another reason why you do it as well. Um, uh, when you're here, what can you reach? Mercy, that's kind of it. Right. You see how your options are a little limited and they're a little further away? Whereas yeah. if you're, like you said, your teleport option here, do you see how this kind of feels a little bit closer? Like you could actually close the distance easier? Yeah, no, totally. totally. Right, yeah. So I, 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 think, I think you definitely have the knowledge for this. It's, it's going to be about making these decisions on the fly, which is really the challenge. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is still fine. You know, you're still going to be able to get close. There you go. Good. Good. You're still full HP. You could just keep going. Nice. Kill, kill, kill. Kill, kill, kill. This is good. Wraith. Good. A little bit cheeky there with the Wraith. You know, you're like trying to greet it. Just Wraith and stay in there. But sometimes sometimes that's, sometimes it's okay. You know, like you're going to... Sometimes you're like, I can get this kill if I stay. Right? So I don't want to Wraith out back to my team. I'm going to Wraith and just keep going. Right? So... You know, it's a high risk, high reward play. I think that one was okay. Okay. Yeah, so far this has been okay. This has been all right. Mechanics are obviously something that, that needs to continue to improve, but I don't think it's even too bad there either. Okay. Yeah, good. Get her. Good. Find the next target. Good. Find the next target. I think more than anything else, it's just like quickly finding the next target. Like, because what's going to happen with Reaper is you're going to deal with characters that do the things that you do, which is just, bam, use their cooldown, go away. So then instead of being like, oh no, you know, what the heck do I do now? It's like, you got to find the next target quickly. Because there's an Ash here. You walk away from the Ash because you're kind of looking for the Moira. You don't have to necessarily chase and kill the Moira. You just need to find a target to go for at this point, right? Yeah. yeah. And so what ends up happening is there's kind of a whole lot of nothing. Poking, 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 but you're not, but but you're basically ended up being too far away from everybody to do anything. Um, so just finding the next target and so on. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. TP out of spawn, by the way. Always faster. Okay. You won't need it in time. You can sometimes you can even wraith then TP out of spawn because by the time that you TP and get to the fight, you'll have your wraith again. So it's okay. a little detail to work on. Um, let's actually make note of that because we'll talk about that one. Wraith slash TP out of spawn when you can. Yeah, you did that when you were starting the game, but not doing it here is criminal. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so now your team is dead. All right, I don't know if you've been paying attention to kill feed tier. Your far is dead. Now your Moyer's dead. What should you do? Nothing. Nothing, All exactly. Right. Nothing or run away. You could even be. You might be able to just hide here. Okay, maybe. Maybe you could go now. Or maybe not now. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I respect it. Can you get out? Can you get out? Ah, unlucky. I mean, it was a fine play. It's a fine play. It's just one of those things where it's like because there's nobody here, you're very likely to die here. So even though you caught them with the element of surprise, which is the most important thing with Reaper. Just be aware that, hey, I'm down basically my entire team. Even just waiting for your D.Va to come out of spawn here, much, much higher chance that you not only get the kill, but you also live as well. Yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. We'll talk more about that if that continues to be a problem. Um, good. Okay, thanks. Where should you go? Um, I could teleport back to where I used to be. Oh, could you just excuse me for one second? Sorry. Yeah, of course. No problem. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, no worries. No worries. So so this is all good. And this is like, you know, you got a nice little teleport up here. You drop on backline. You get in the Moira. You get it at 1 HP. You force a lot of CDs. You wraith out. Now what? Um, I could just teleport to where I was before. Sure could. Or watch this. You walk to where you were before if you don't have the opportunity to teleport. That too. Mm, yeah. Do it again. Because by the time you go, like, this is, this is downtime. 
You see this? This is downtime. And this is downtime that should be used to set up. Right? So that the second that you have your Wraith, which is like right now, you should already be back in. You're not in. You see this? Is this one second, two seconds, three seconds, three seconds of wasted time? Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. So you do your cycle. You ask, can I set up sex, uh, safely for the next one, whether it's using my teleport or just simply walking to an angle? Then do it quickly. Because that could be the difference between securing kills. That could be the difference between getting one cycle versus two cycles or two cycles versus three cycles and so on. Because you have the right idea of like what you ought to be doing with Reaper. But then sometimes either you don't have the mechanics for it. Sometimes you don't take the time to set up quickly enough. And there's like little things that are kind of hurting you from doing your job. Yeah, okay. Yeah, makes sense. Good. Stay on her. Good. Finish her off. Nice. Get on her. Good. You're cooking. Nice job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good. Now, again, what should you be doing as soon as you possibly can? Mm, like, looking for places to set up. Yeah, exactly. Now, you're probably thinking, like, where on earth do I set up here? Well, think creatively. Um, There's, like, a little tunnel, uh, sort of, like, on the ride. You got I it. Could... You got it. Yeah. You got it. You can also just wait for your teleporter. That's not the worst thing you could do either. But yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. There it is. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. There you go. And shocker, she's there. Get her out. Nice. I'm going to give you one piece of advice. One piece of advice. As soon as you possibly can here, before you push here, I want you to do something that's unbelievably obnoxious to do with controller, but it's important. Okay. Turn around. Why is that important? Look at, look at what you see here. Mm, my team? Mm -hmm. And where are they positioned? And where are you about to go? They're like around the corner. Right. But I'm going down the stairs. Right. So in which case, do you want to commit to this play here? now no i i guess i'd want to wait maybe like for diva to fly in or something exactly exactly even even just for the, then they get a little bit closer than things to go like the thing with reaper is like you can go first you, you absolutely can you have 250 hp you have a self heal you have a defense goal that's great but it's so much better when there's something else in the battlefield that's distracting the enemy team first and right yeah. now unfortunately there just aren't those distractions so when you go for what's actually a really nice player really nice angle good shots get in there bam 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 Everybody is looking at you. Everybody. Even the Echo and Mercy turn around, right? And meanwhile, your team has just now gotten here. So I will be very clear. This is not a bad play. This is fine. Even the cancel under the ultimate is good. Um, I would just love for when you initially set up here, right here, before you even peek on this ash, you just turn around. Oh, we're going to wait just a little bit. And then I go for this commit here. Just literally one and a half seconds later, I think you guys are cooking here. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Yeah, that's helpful. And it really ties into what happened here as well. Remember the last Death Blossom here? Yes. Same kind of thing. You didn't know how close... Your D.Va was almost there. Your D.Va was almost there. Like, I mean, you, you could have actually made that work really well, but... You know, so it's like... It's another one of those good plays, bad timings. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. You almost have your Wraith again, so you need to go very soon. Go. Good. I will give you one tiny little detail here as well. You don't have to necessarily wait for your Wraith. You can already be shooting now because you'll have Wraith when you need it, right? Mm, okay. You could go in even just a second faster. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You have your Wraith. You have full HP. Go. Good. 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 That was really good. I go back and do it again. And now, what do you have for your setup? Uh, teleport. Teleport. So where could you go? Um, I could like TP onto the high ground and like drop onto them. Maybe. Bam. Brilliant. Yeah. Because look at this. You could drop literally anywhere around here. It's a really nice Reaper staging ground. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're close enough to your Wraith there. Like you got like two or three seconds. I think you're good enough to go. Mm, okay. This is fine. This is good. Keep going. Good. 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 <laughs> <She went laughs> 
I freaking yeah, hate Valk and Mercy. I mean, not really. Valk and Mercy is actually OP. Like Valk and Mercy is even in high ranks, Valk and Mercy just destroys people. So it's not your fault. It just will never not be funny to me. Okay, go 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 go, go, go. find somebody. Find somebody. I think it's I think this fight's lost. Fight's lost. Oh yeah, no. that's yeah, okay. that's, that's that's fine. It's fine. Okay, so you know, there's a lot of good things to to say. I really like the little short off angles. I like your target priority. Your mechanics aren't too bad. Um, I mean, you're bronze, right? So it's not like you're gonna knock anybody's shoes off, but they're they're good enough, no. right? They're good enough, right? Um, I, I really like the way that you're playing the character. I really do. Your play style, it's like it shows that you've done your homework. Like it looks good. The the, the depth, but the devil's in the details, right? And I think that's cool. what we have to put emphasis on. So what are those details? What are those things that you need to be improving on that we've talked about? Uh, timing. Yeah, timing. And, well, specifically, yeah. how do you improve your timing, right? What was the habit that we wanted you to do? Um, just looking at my team. Yes. And just like making sure that they're like committing to the fight. Right. You can, right. Exactly. Before, Because when you're in, you don't have time to look at your team. There's too much going on your screen. But just check your mm -hmm. team's positioning. Okay, what else? Um, just not, not hesitating so much. Like, right. Just like setting up a little bit faster. Right. It was kind of like, it was a little bit of both hot and cold, right? Like sometimes you were very hot to go in and you didn't check your team's position and you were by yourself. And then other times you had your CD or were coming up on Wraith and basically were good to go or needed to be setting up and you're just kind of like standing there, like you said, hesitating. And so it meant that simultaneously you would go in when you shouldn't, when you needed to wait a second. And other times you were not set up when you should have gone in. And so it's like the worst of both worlds. Um, I think that's it. I think yeah. those are the big two points. I think we've got some other little details which we'll keep looking at, but uh, any questions so far? Yeah, I actually have a question about timing because I have yeah, practiced it a little bit. Yeah, of course. Um, so, um, it's just sometimes a little bit hard for me to figure out like when is my team, like when is my team engaged enough where I can go in like... Great question. Great question. Yeah, like if they're like doing like a little bit of poke damage, is that enough or do I have to wait until they push off a little bit? I would like say, I would say, take what they're giving you. When okay. we looked at the Diva Zenyatta earlier, uh, the Diva wasn't really diving. The Zenyatta wasn't really peeking. That was the problem. You're not necessarily waiting for your Diva to fly in, but you would like her to shoot, be at least shooting something. Yeah. You know. So let's let's see. With with your timing, don't worry about getting it perfectly right. Just make sure that your team is at least doing something, whether it's poking or whatever else. That's good enough for me. Okay. Like, really, frankly, that's good enough for me. It does not have to be perfect. Because you're right, it can be really tricky, especially in, in bronze, so not everybody's playing the characters the way that they should be played. But, okay, this is... <laughs> yeah, I cannot say this. <laughs> okay, solve the problem, then. Can you solve this? Yeah, yeah, I should just go out of the front door. And that, like... That's it, that's it. Because the thing is, it's like, this is not a fair fight. Look at the range that she has in you, right? Well, what are you supposed to do? Like, you, I mean... Nah, I don't know. Like, there's nothing you could do. Like, maybe you could quickly teleport out underneath into here and hope that she drops it. I, I don't know. Just take a different angle. It's fine. Yeah. That being said, this is comedy gold, so it's a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. It's like a, it's like a Three Stooges or Abbott Costello. It goes on like, so long. I'm oh so my <laughs> goodness gracious, there's no way. There's no <laughs> this is a battle of wills. This is unbelievable. This is like Magnus Carlsen on the chessboard. Like, no, who's going to do it? <laughs> Who's gonna break first? I will not break. Dude, she's still standing there. She's still looking. Okay, she's gotten bored. Okay, now she gave up. I win. All right, all right, good, good, good. The good news is that we only wasted thirty-three seconds. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, let's uh, let's come up with another plan here. Echo stops you from taking the angle. What do you do? Mm. Um, I would just, yeah, go out the main door and then maybe go into that little building on the left. The one I yeah. was in the subtle, yeah. Maybe. I mean, this is, you're cooking here. Obviously, the turret's going to be freaking obnoxious, but you could break the turret, go back, get healing. Then this angle here, I mean, this is, this is gorgeous, right? It could even be like, oh, the turret's in the way, so you give up on that angle too, but you teleport to here. This would be a great angle for you to be, right? I mean, this mm -hmm. is Torb, Diva, you got a Mega in here. Like, you're just, you just want to get close to somebody, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was, uh... This this will this is just delightful. Also, the Moyer orb bugged. Gotta love that. Wait, did yeah, I see yeah. that a lot. Yeah. yeah, I see that all the time in replay goes. Okay, good angle. 
Good timing. Well, okay, I'd say good timing, but no, it's bad timing. You're very late. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't say that. So, so by the time you got here, it's too late. Uh, the good idea, though, that the play, the play itself was was fine. Just, and a good DMAC, so that's nice. Okay, Thank let's... Uh, good. This is where... Okay, so let, let's, let's talk about this again. One of the other details that I forgot about is HP awareness. I don't mind this here. This is definitely a 1v1 that you should probably win if you're a little bit mechanically better and your supports are sadly dead and, and they're not in a position to heal you and all that kind of stuff. But honestly here, I might even consider here taking the 1v1 on the corner or maybe even grabbing a health pack. I know it feels like, oh, yeah, oh that's, that's wasted time, but I, I really think that your effectiveness as a Reaper just dramatically spikes when you're slightly higher in HP. So just try to find that balance, you know? Yeah, okay. I, I get the hesitation, you see it? Yeah. Like, you're set up. You have your Wraith. Like, right here. Go. Quick. Good. Huge. And you notice that why, the why, nobody's even looking at you, right? Why? It's more times. Like right, it's perfectly well timed. Soldier on an angle, Diva's dying in front of them. It's well timed. Nobody even turns around. And I know some people will be like, "Oh, it's because it's bronze." Yes and no. Even in higher rank, it'd be very difficult for them to give you. Okay, that's not your fault. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, wait, let me see here. Is there anything else that we could have cleaned up here? I mean, I guess I would just obviously before you look at the echo, look at what's closer first. I mean, that's the yeah. big thing. I don't know if you knew that he was there though. So probably not. Yeah, yeah that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Get her. <laughs> ego. <laughs> go, 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 Next target. Even if it's a turret, good. And here we go. We're cooking. I'm ready for this one. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's going to be hard with a D.Va, but maybe if we time it well. Good. Wait. 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 All right. Let it rip. Let it rip. Let it rip. Yes! Ah, oh, Beautiful. Nice. Perfectly well-timed. And did you notice that even that you were just a teeny bit late? You notice that? That's good. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Being a teeny bit late is, is good with, 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 with ults like that. I probably would have pushed cart here, to be honest with you. I think if you guys push cart, you guys cap. Yeah, that's true. Your soldier bailed too soon, but that's all right. All right, go, 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 go. Good. Two divas as if one wasn't bad enough. Good. Good. I mean, this is fine. She just lasered you. That's all that happens. You know, actually, okay. okay. So, 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 yeah. So, so you're you're gonna feel like um, I'm kind of blustering over some mistakes or some misplays here and there. It's not that those misplays don't matter. It's that they, they don't matter enough. Like you're at a okay. point in time, like where you have to choose your battles. And you notice that we said that when you're talking about like, I hey, look at my own replays. There's just so many things. To, don't worry about it. You know, you got to worry about like you got to choose your battles. Um, if you had timed your engages better. If you had done a better job grabbing health, uh, if you had spent more time setting up instead of you know hesitating, if you had not perhaps you know had this engagement, whatever that was, frankly, this match would have been winnable. And that's all you need to know. That's yeah, all you need okay. to know. So let's uh, let's keep going. Do you have another replay code? Yeah, I do. Just give me one okay. second. Okay. Sure, of course. There you go. Okay, get this pulled up here. Got it. Any questions so far? Um, no, I think I'm good. Do you see how yeah. simple this is? Um, yeah, I guess I do. It's not. It's not that deep. You know, all you need to do is time your engage as well. Click some heads, and then have your setup. Do it again. Um, I think your strengths are your play style. And your cycle, what you're doing going in and out. Your weaknesses is that hesitation slash your timing. Mm -hmm. And then also sometimes not securing kills that you should be able to secure. 
Unfortunately, there's no real way to speed up your mechanics outside of making sure that your settings are all perfect and then just practice, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think that that's the biggest thing here. And we don't need to look for crazy deep things when just the simple stuff will do. Now, for example, right here, this is a mistake. You're probably thinking, why? It's a perfect, perfect angle. It's not a little surprise. I'm up close. Yes, but you see it? Yeah, I'm too far away. <laughs> Way too, well, not even. You could actually start here. I'm dead serious. But you'd wait, 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 wait for them to walk forward. Wait, 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 wait. Is your team poking now? You can see him, right? It's through walls. Yeah, it looks like a little bit of poke. You can hear it too. You can't see the enemy team through walls, but you can see it and you can hear it. Now would be a good time to go in because guess what? If they would turn around to all focus you, you see what would happen over here? Your team would get kills. Yeah. So so it's it's a, it's a good kill. You know, hey, you got close. It was a good sneaky angle, I guess. But it's something that's not always going to work and something that you'll be punished for even in bronze because there's nothing else to do. It's just Reaper here, right? So just keep that in mind. Okay. I like the idea. I don't like when you executed that idea. Let's put it that way. Okay. All right. Now, this is better. Why? Is there something happening on the battlefield? Yeah. Yeah, um, absol absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You you don't even have to see everything. You can hear it. You could hear your Zen shooting. You can hear the Bastion form. You can see your Moira over here. Like, this is perfect. And so the she's going to die. You probably could have gotten away with another shot on that Ryan, I think. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, but it's but, but, sorry. It's sorry. It's not a bad. It's not a bad. Now remember, what's the next step? Uh, TP. TP or setup, right? Can be set up with your feet. Like you don't have to teleport here. You could just do what you're doing now, walking forward. But just as long as you're setting up, we're good. Good. I like the setup here. Thanks. Now keep in mind that your team's getting a little cheeky with it, right? I think they're fighting really close. So get ready. Yeah, yeah. Get ready. Go. Right? Go. Ah, you see this? You see yeah. it? It's the opposite problem. Like where this fight is happening, you need to go now, whether it's on the Kiriko or Soldier or even the Bastion. It f I think, okay, so I, okay, so here's, here's where I need your help. I need to know, I don't know if you remember this game, what's going through your brain right now that's preventing you from going forward? Well, I've watched some of your... Uh, Reaper coaching videos and you talk about this thing called the Reaper sandwich where like you want to be bordering the enemy team you don't want to be like in the middle of them mm. so I'm thinking like I don't want to drop now because like what if their back lines behind me and I get found the back true 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 so there's two ways to look at this here one is there a position or an angle or a way that you could drop that would avoid the Reaper sandwich yeah, there was like this, yeah. Like I'd be on the high ground on the, on the left maybe and drop down. Or that, sure. that, that um, like pillar on the right yeah. where Bastion is. Yeah, yeah. You could even push this way. Or honestly, frankly, just dropping out this side here so you could push the Kiriko from behind. And then here's the other thing here, all right? This one is going to be a little bit of a moment of honesty for me. Okay. This is where even with good information, a little bit of good info is a dangerous thing. Because you're right, a Reaper Sandwich is not a good thing. But you know what's worse than a Reaper Sandwich? A Reaper that doesn't show up at all. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. You know, so this is why, like, you know, I, I, I try to put out videos that appeal to a lot of people and then have information for everybody. But there is always a risk that while thinking too hard about one thing, you mess up the most fundamental, basic, bare bones thing ever. And right now, you're right. You were dropping here, it means that you would get shot in the back by Kiriko and Moira. Yes. But it also means that you would actually have a, a fight. Like a fight would actually happen. I know you guys are down one here. You're not likely to win this fight, but there's a chance, right? This is worse. Yeah. So you have two choices. You can think about Reaper Sandwich, but try to find a way to engage without a Reaper Sandwich at a good time. Try and do both at the same time. That might be tough. Mm -hmm. Or say, you know what? I'm not going to worry as much about Reaper Sandwich right now. I'm just going to make sure that I'm on an angle with my team's timing and I'm just going to go. Yeah, okay. It's up to you. Because this is criminal. Okay. This fight was lost. There's no way that you win this fight. But to be honest with you, you should have gotten at least two kills here. Especially with the amount, of, especially with the angle that you had. Like they would have. Oh, oh man, you got scammed. I hate that so much. Yeah, um, I'm lucky. But but like really, like the setup was perfect. Like it was such a good angle. Like you just needed to go. 
Mm, yeah, okay. Go, 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 go. All right, let's go. Let's see it. Fight's happening right now, right? Go. It is. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. It's juicy. It's a juicy yes, one. Yes, it's, a, it's a juicer. I love that so much. That was beautiful. Well-timed as well. Well-set-up and well-timed. Nobody knows where you are. You go in at the same time as your D.Va, your Zenyatta, your Sombra on an angle. Perfectly well-set-up. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. As you climb in ranks, you're not going to have quite as many juicy Death Blossoms. I know it's tragic. You will have some still. Um, just because people will split up and take more off angles and stuff like that. Um, so just keep in mind, with Death Blossom, a kill is a kill. One kill is worth it. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, no, that's what I've, I've had also. Yeah, that's fine. Fight's happening. Let's go. Scratching your nose. Changing your pants. I can have that. Doing laundry. I'm like, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, but this, this, you see how this falls to the the uh, the timing thing. You know, it's just like you just gotta go. Like you just gotta go. Yeah. Like if you know the Bastion's there, honestly, maybe just go find him. Just go get in his face. Like he's 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 a little scary, but like you're, you're Reaper, you're not that scared of Bastion. Because this is like, hey, we got our kill, but the fight was lost by the time we got our kill. Yeah. The good news is that you are a very predictable player. You consistently have excellent angles. Great cycle, terrible timing. <laughs> nice. I, that's that's it. That's it. That's an uh, I would say admirable, but that's more of an uh, an enviable position where you have such obvious strengths and such obvious weaknesses, and it makes your path to improvement pretty simple. Um, okay. Most people are more dynamic than that. You're not. You're you're an, you're a one trick. You're great, <laughs> and, and in more than one way, right? You're phenomenal at the bare bones of playing the character, but you're, you're terrible with timing. So. Guess what? It makes my job easy. It makes your job easy. So, okay, let's uh, let's go. Yeah, cool. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. I think this is also just where you have to have kind of have like a sense of where the enemy team is. So if I just turn the camera away, yeah. where is the enemy team? Approximately. Describe it. Um, like, 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 um, maybe like this sort of, uh, like on the road, just like yeah, sort of yeah. coming out from spawn maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How, how far along the road would they be? I would say not that far, maybe like only a quarter of the way. Only, only a quarter of the way. Okay, so I want you to, I'm going to provide some information to you. Look at the top middle of your screen. Do you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see the P? Oh, yeah. No. Do you like see the, the middle. That's okay. do, you, do you see the number on the P as well? Yeah. That tells you how many people are on cart, right? Yeah. So I'm going to predict here that there's a, I would say at least three or four people standing around cart, maybe one person pushed forward. And so then thinking, the reason why that's important is because you need to use the information with how to set up. Right. Yeah. So for you, is how would you set up? Again, I'm not going to turn the camera on just yet. So how would you set up? Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking I could walk onto the building and then yeah. drop onto somebody. Yeah. 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 There's actually all three layers of the building. You could teleport on top of the building. You could walk up to the second layer of the building. You could walk underneath and through the building and immediately access backline. But the key thing is that. I think the fight's going to start really soon and you're not set up for it at all. You need to go. Yeah. And I think it's because you think people are closer than they are and I don't think they are. Let's find out. Yes, there it is. You see that? Yeah, I'm really far away from everyone. <laughs> really far away. Now, the good news is that your team is in spawn, so you wouldn't really want to go right now anyway, but you do need to be thinking in the next about, I would say, 9, 10 seconds, I need to be set up. So... Okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, this is good. This is really good. You, you came at the perfect time, right? Your Diva's coming out. Summer's coming out. Brilliant, brilliantly done. And great short off angle. Perfect. Timing is perfect here. Nice job. Thanks. Wraith, you don't really know where your supports are, I, so that's always tricky, but you got to cover. That's the crucial thing. Um, yeah. And so your supports will find you. Yeah, this was a great fight for me. Really, 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 truly a beautiful fight. Good setup. Thanks. I was a little scared at first, but you got there in time. The angle was beautiful. You had a good cycle out. It's beautiful. Nicely done. <sighs> okay, let's... Uh, and this is, again, where are they going to come from? <laughs> um, I, yeah, like, like same place, I guess. As, as right. Well, well what, like from, from the road, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so, so I want you to go ahead right now and set up. Where should you set up? Is where you're at right now okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be okay, I think. Okay. What if your team is holding... Uh, yeah, that's, um, 
happens, right? It definitely happens in bronze. So I know it happens. It happens yeah, no, in higher sure. ranks than that. So you got you got to think like. So I like your angle now if the fight happens here, but I'm scared that the fight's not going to happen here. I think it might happen over here, in which case, where would you want to be? Yeah, maybe I would... <sighs> I can't think of a good angle here. Maybe I would just set up with my team. Or sure. I, there's like a tunnel, like, sort of yeah. on the right. Yeah, can yeah. You could, set, you could set up here. You could also set up underneath the building here. Yeah. You can also set up and hide in this room here. Yeah. There's options. I think the key thing for you is just... just Trying like trying different things, you know. Okay. So let's see. Listen, 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 and look. Listen and look. Good, 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 good. You can hear it. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, there you go. But do you notice how late that was? Yeah, it took a while. Yeah. Now I I think part of the reason why it took a while is because I legitimately think you didn't know where people were. Yeah, no, that's true. And so I'm not, it's not like, oh, your timing sucks, idiot. Like, what's wrong with you? I, I it was actually kind of tricky there. Like, I, I mean, I was kind of confused where people were, like, so 100%. But that is something that you want to try and practice to make sure that your timing is good. Don't just remind yourself, timing, 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 idiot. Slap yourself inside the face. But also really try to listen as best as you can. Like, where are they? Okay, when do I want to go in? Um, it's a complicated topic, right? It's timing is not as simple as go with your team. It's also you got to listen to when the enemy team is. And where are they? Are they going to find me out? So I think, like, at this point in time right now, you got to keep listening. I hear a soldier beneath me to the right. Should I go chase that soldier? Should I go for the Rhine? What about the Kiriko or Moira? Okay, there's the soldier there. You kind of see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what I would say is that if nothing else, really try to put a little bit of urgency in trying to scout where people are when this fight starts so that you're not caught, oh, with bad timing because I just didn't know where people were. That's, that's the worst thing that happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's keep going here. Any questions so far? Uh, no. Okay, let's keep going. Like, you have some information here. Your Somers just hacked Moira. You should be using that information. Yeah. You just heard Moira fade to your right. She just used orb. You should be using that information. The fight is about to start. The fight has started. Where are they? 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 Just a little late. Okay. You see it again? Like you're just a little late because by the time you yeah. get here, this has already happened. You see this? So you've now dropped, but your diva is now dead, and that's just criminal. So as good as your cycle was, as good as I mean, you did a lot of damage. It was just too late. Yeah. yeah. I think, okay, let's be honest. With, that is the hardest part about taking these off angles. You notice that? It is It is the, the ability to know what's going on off of your screen. Yeah, it is not easy. Yeah. It is not easy at all. So while you were simultaneously buffing yourself by doing the correct macro strategic advance level play, you're nerfing yourself because you're, you're often late and you don't really know what's going on and you don't really know where people are. So you got to ask yourself, like, what can I do to compensate for that? Like, do I need to be listening more? Can I, are there any ways I could like peek out or can I try and predict where the fight's going based off of where my team is positioned and, and so on, right? Because you're not always going to have full information. Um, so I, I don't think that the solution obviously is to go back and play with your stack with your tank, but it is definitely to, to try and accrue more information, um, more information during these setup phases. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Go, 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 go. I don't even know who she EMP'd. I really don't know who she EMP'd. <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Must have been a fat finger. Happens to the best of us. Nice job. You got here, eh? In enough time for it to matter. Touch the spawn door challenge. Oh, you got rolled. Get rolled. I, it's deserved. I deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. All right. So this is where you're probably like, ah, my Divas is dead. I'm not going to go in. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I like the, Dude, this angle adjustment is beautiful. This angle adjustment is beautiful. You go all the way from here to you drop it, you reshift your angle to here. And this is like, this is what I'm talking about. Like where you, how did you know to shift your angle here? You didn't see um, anybody really. I mean, they hacked this person, but you didn't really see anybody. You just, you just knew they would be there. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You just knew. You could hear, you could predict, you knew where the cart was going. Maybe you used the information where you see the two and the three in the cart progression. Maybe not. Um, but this is great. This is a perfect angle. Your Sombra's in. You could go now. It's most your, okay, most of your team is here, so you could go now. Good. Ooh, you greeted your Wraith as well. Cheeky. I know. I mean, I respect it. Good, 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 good. Scary, 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 scary. Ah! Yeah, Unlucky. This, yeah. yeah, I should have just gotten the cover sooner. Um, yeah. The big thing here is it's just here. Whoops. You're just a little slow in the draw. That's all. Yeah, sure. sure. Yeah, I, I think I think if you're a little faster there, then you lose. I think also grabbing the mini here would have been a little bit, a little bit faster would have been useful. But I, I really don't think this is egregious. This is fine. We just got smoked. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you're gonna get a seven K. I'm ready for it. That's the plan. Yes. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Area cleared. Very area, area cleared. cleared. So so much fun. Nice. Good job. Good hold. Um. Thank you. Yeah. I think we have. I think we got more. Yeah, we got more time. Let's keep going. You got more time? Okay. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. I, I know. I know it's late for you, but uh. Um. Early, actually. It's like in the morning. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's all good. Really? No way to say it. Yeah, you, man, our, I, thought, I thought our time would be further apart than that. I guess it's, I'm thinking I'm used to working in Australia. That's the problem. You guys oh, okay, are what? Yeah. Like, what? One hour? Two hours ahead? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like two or three hours in. All right, all right. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Your turret. Is that a good time to go? Um. Here's what, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes right now, and I just want okay. you to listen. All right. Okay. One more time. Right. Now listen. You ready? Yeah. What do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I can hear people talking. I can hear Reinhardt swinging his hammer. Um, sounds like maybe this is a decent time. Sure, 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 sure. Now, what could you have done to make 100% certain that this was a good time? Uh, just look at my team and stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> you could, it's not a. It's it's not a great time. It's just frankly not a great time. It, yeah. It's maybe only five seconds away from being a good time, but. Like now, you see this yeah. now, yeah. now, and you can tell why because people are looking at you. You know, they're sometimes gonna look at you here, but like I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. You have your wraith. Go. Perfect. This is perfect. You see, because you're gonna have your wraith when you need it. Yeah. There's combat happening elsewhere. I I'm gonna predict. I hope that I'm not wrong, but I'm gonna predict that this is gonna go well. And there you go. See it? Team gets free cart push. You get a free kill. GG's. Yeah, that's good. that's good. There you go. And do it again. You're a little late here. I've, in fact, the reason I think you're a little late here is I actually think here, you could have just gone and walked and grabbed the Mega and then just kept going instead of waiting for your team yeah. to heal you. Yeah. I appreciate you getting healed up, though, because that was obviously a problem in the first VOD where sometimes you just kind of were not getting healing. Um, this yeah, one, I this one's, this one's This one's fine. Good timing, nobody's even looking at you. Freaking Reaper in the back. And lovely. Look at that old charge yeah. to everybody else in the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got play for that actually. Yeah. Really? Freaking smurfing yeah. Reaper, man. Come on. Yeah, what can I say? Oh, jeez. The single's okay. Um, predicting where the fight again is going, knowing where people are coming. Okay, good. It's either, this is what we needed. Got a little bit of that peak, you know, the side eye. Okay, they're all there. All right, all right, here they come. Here they go. You know, here they go. All right, listen, 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 listen. Go. Ah, yes. Go, 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 go. Good, good, good. Only thing I would say here is this angle is good if they come up to high ground, but then when they drop to cart, now you're like, geez, I can't reach anybody, right? So what's what's the solution here? What's the solution? I guess it's uh teleport yeah where to or, yeah mm, um maybe like across the road onto that ledge 
Yeah, like here-ish. Or here. Yeah, this would be good. Yeah. Honestly, this would be okay too, really. Like either one would be good. Yeah, absolutely. Just to yeah. close the distance, you know? Yeah. Because I Actually, you, have you, a question. Yeah, please, please, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. I just have a question about teleporting. Like, I think I kind of already know the answer to this, but I'm just asking. When I teleport, I need to like teleport to somewhere like where the enemy's not going to see me teleporting, right? Does that make sense? Like, you already know the answer like, to that one. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. No, 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 100%. Easy. 100%. 100%. 100%. Now, there's some exceptions to that rule. For example, like this Moira, if she sees you teleporting, if you just teleport on top of this Moira, what is she going to do? Is she going to shoot you in the head? No. She, she doesn't do that, right? And so yeah. it's fine. But yeah, most of the time, you want to at least have to be teleporting to cover or like somewhere where they can't see you or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is fine. It's just like one of those things where it's like your angle was okay, your timing was okay, but then because you, the angle was so far away, that you ended up being a little bit late, which is not a huge deal. You weren't as late as you have been before. You could ult this if you wanted to. This is fine too. And you notice why that May died? Where's the May's support? Where's the May's frontline? Mm, that's true. Check it out. You go in, major distraction, Kiriko, Ryan, Moira, Reaper. Look at the May. Yeah, look at you and is. yeah, you and your mate, the May and you are doing the same thing. But the difference between you and the May is that you did it better. She must have messed up her ice block or something, right? Um, but you didn't mess up your wraith. So yeah, that's it. You win the trade. GG's. Set up, 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 set up. Quick, 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 quick. It's gotta be now. Night. Love it. Thank you. Good job. I will say one more thing with this. If you don't have time or don't have a good setup angle, what is Reaper also really good at besides flanking on back lines? Mm, maybe just like front lining. It's like shooting just, tank. Front, just shooting tank. If you don't have an opportunity to set up because it's like, ah, oh, the angle is bad here. I don't have time. You could just sit here on cover with your tank and shoot the tank. That's also okay mm. too. Okay. So that's an option. When something else isn't available, it's okay to just shoot frontline. That's all. That's all. A lot of the 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 the, the heroes in Overwatch are balanced. There's characters that are really fast, like Tracer, should almost never be shooting frontline. But characters like Reaper, they have, they have mobility. They can take flanks too. But they're also because they're not quite as mobile as Tracer, they can also shoot tanks too. So you get up options. Yeah. This Moira so. is cooking. What is she doing? Yeah, I was amazed by what she's doing. High as a kite, indeed. Jeez. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. All right. Let's. Uh, and again, you already know where the fight's gonna happen here. It's gonna happen like somewhere here-ish, you know. So let's get set up. Mm. I like the setup. This setup is good. Wait. Go. Yes. 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 That's actually fine. The only thing I would say here is like obviously if maybe if you could have deepened, maybe this would have been a better angle to avoid the Rhine. Um, yeah, that's but you know, if, but if Ryan Kirigo chase you and, and you force a lot of cooldowns, a lot of attention, a lot of HP, and then you live easily, I don't think it's bad. Like, this is fine. Set up, 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 or shoot Ryan. Set up or shoot Ryan. I would say yeah. you have a lot of setup options here with all these high grounds. So I would, I would set up right now. What could you do? Um, yeah, same as before. I could like TP onto the high ground and then drop yep. on yeah, oh, or yeah. legitimately do the exact same angle that you just did. <laughs> yeah. That would also work as well. Because this is like the problem here. You get set up, but my days, you were like, you've had Wraith since like Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's been yeah. legitimately like four or five, six seconds. And so this is like, good, good. But oh my goodness gracious, is it late? He's going to shatter. Oh, no. I for sure he's going to shatter at one HP. Uh-oh. Yeah, they... Yeah. No, get her, get her, get her. Nice. Okay, you're good, you're good. Yeah. All right. Oh, you win this one. I'm stoked. Oh no, they have a lever. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Even yeah, with the lever, we can still, we, we can still, we can still like. Good. Fight starting. Like you were asking, like when is a good time to go? This is this is good enough. This yeah, is good enough. Yeah. Right. This is this this really is good enough. I'm waiting for the shatter. I'm just waiting for it. He's holding on to it. <laughs> Good. Obviously easy because they're down one, but yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <annoying>. <laughs> <laughs> worst. The absolute worst. 
Go. And then you see it again. You have your Wraith here. I know you're waiting for Mega, but honestly, like, just TP and go. Like, TP on an angle and go. Like, if your supports can see you. Like, this is just another one of the things where it's just, you're so late. Here comes the shot. Three, two, one. There it is. There it is. It was there one. It, it was one. Oh, no. That doesn't matter. You guys win this, I think. I think. Yeah. Oh, I, all right, one more. One more juicer. One more juicer. Or one more this out one, for the boys. One more out for the boys. You actually just broke this trap with uh, the death boss. You almost stepped into it again. Yeah, I saw that. That's so lucky. Oh, you got you guys should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh wait, you guys had a lever. Yeah, it's or, weird. or a DC. It was, it was even Stevens again. All right, this is this is tight. Two DPS and a support for both of y'all. Plus tank. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! He's scary. Junkrat is the only character I think that can actually contest you in close ranges. That's not a tank. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I didn't. I was scared of yeah. him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have better mobility than he does, but yeah, that 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 that's that's tough. That's something that you could just you can play to bait a little bit. You could take a different angle. Um, also, his minds, you know, his shift, or I guess whatever it would be with console, but you know his minds, right? Um, yeah, I know what you mean. That's that's a cooldown that you can play around too, where it's like you are okay versus him if he doesn't have minds, but otherwise it can be tricky. Okay, so let's uh let's take some notes here. We we've talked about a lot of little things. We talked about mostly the the same big stuff over and over again. What are some points of practice? What do you need to improve at? Uh, timing needs work. How do you improve your timing? Uh, uh just like looking and listening for information. Looking. About the, uh, and listening for enemy team positions and check your team's position pre engage, right? Yes. Okay. Other thing that needs practice urgency, expediency, swiftness, alacrity, efficiency <laughs> of your setting up of engages, especially on your second cycle, right? Yes. You go in for a good cycle, get a little bit of healing, and then proceed to th contemplate for about five or six seconds <laughs> while your teammates are dying, right? You need to go. And remember, the key thing is that key thing is it's okay to set up when you don't have Wraith just yet, as long as as you have it when you need it. Yeah. Walk, teleport, etc. doesn't really matter. <clears throat> okay. Those are the big ones. Those are like the big, the big mama stuff. Um, but what, what else? I swear there was something else. What was it? Um, oh, 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 oh. When you have no good angle, when you wraith out, okay to shoot tank. Yeah. Right? That's all right. It's not awful. Um. Mm, I don't know, that's mostly it. Maybe that was mostly it. I thought there's a couple of those tiny things, but I can't remember them. So maybe you go back and watch the review. But honestly, without that, you have like more than enough to practice. Um, any questions? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay. Um.